Hello everybody, welcome to this new episode. In today's video I want to make a demonstration on how to configure and get you started with um, SQLite in Java. So let's get started. The first thing that you need, let's assume that you already have an SQLite, SQLite database. The first thing that you will need in order to get started is a driver, right? So you might start by looking for the driver SQLite java.jar driver. Um, you need to, right here is it. So I like to download from the downloads, jar downloads. Where's download? Okay, right here. So there we go. Download SQL driver. I already did it, but I just want to walk you through the whole process of um, working with this um, SQL Lite from scratch. So once you have downloaded, you can. I'm working with Eclipse, so in Eclipse you can just create a project. This is a blank uh, project. It's a Java project. So I will go into Java project and let's call it SQLite Pro. Once you have a project created, I will say no. Uh, okay, open the perspective. Once you have the project there, you can go ahead and create a class, your starter class. I will call this class entry because it's going to be represent the entry point of my program. I will select public static point main because I want my program to start from there. So next I will import that um, driver that I just downloaded right. So I go into libraries, construct this uh, module path, go into the class path and add an external jar. And I have my jars somewhere. Okay, I have a uh, SQLite here, so I can just double click my library, apply and close. Great. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create another class in which I am going to define my queries. So, create a class. This one is not going to have a static void, so I just call it, I'm gonna call this queries. It's going to be my queries class. Finish. So once I get here into my queries class, I'm going to work with the library Java SQLite SQL, right? I wanna select everything for now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to establish the connection to the database. Now we'll, that connection needs to be private. So say private and it will return an object of the type connection, right? So I say object connection. I will call this con. And as we see, it's complaining. It says, oh, you need to um, add the return statement. Okay, add the return statement. For now, I add it as no. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a connection. I'll name it con, and I will say um, I need to invoke the driver, driver manager, right? And from here, I need to get a connection, and it's asking me for an URL connection URL. So as for now, I'm not going to subdivide everything. Of course, I should have an a string uh, for this, but I'm going to just write it right here, right? So I want to say uh, GDBC SQLite, and I need to know the path, the absolute path to my database SQLite. So I will keep that absolute path and next thing I'm going to do, check how everything is going, it's asking me to 
protect this code with throws and everything so once I have the connection I will just return it there's nothing more I want to do with this connection but return it okay so once the connection is returned I can go ahead and here and create my first query my query is going to be public because I want to access this query from another areas of my program so I say public uh, let's call query1 just to give a q1 um, it's not going to return anything this is just uh, a void for the sake of this exercise if you need in your application you can add it a return time transform it in the way that you need it but for now I will just choose a uh, void type return type so I need to invoke that connection right so I will say um, connection con is going to be this connection right so now I have the connection very good it might ask me to uh, throw in cache declaration and stuff good next thing that I need to do is um, create a, the statement right so I, I will say and I need to return that statement I need to create a statement I need to execute a query and I need to return that into a result set so let's go by st step by step first of all I need a result set a result set okay this result set I will call RS good now I need to grab this connection and create um, statement good I need to create a statement um, wait a minute I need to create a statement um, create statement that's what I need to do I create a statement and I will execute a query good so again I'm not going to go into pretty fine of these because just to want to make it quick uh, but usually you should have your query in a uh, store in a variable I will write my query right here I'll say uh, select oops, select let's say everything from my database is called Mozambique good I will just select everything so once you have this all stored into a result set you will need to while through it what I mean by that is that you say while errors next and then here you might um, print your results I'm going to print only one result from this um, only one column so the way I do that is I'm going to get string I will grab this column by name so that I that name of the column will be the ID and that's pretty much it so the next thing that I need to do is configure my program so that it will execute properly I go into Java application, double click on it it's set to the entry let's say that I want to include libraries apply a run and let's run again um, something is not nice here on my let's just reset the view the perspective because I am not seeing um, it says zero problems oh yes um, pardon me. I just forgot to connect from here um, the whole query thing right so I need to say a hey, I need to instantiate um, queries right I will call it Q and it's going to be a new queries and I just access um, 
query one. I have to access query one here. So um, it might require me to add some throws and error handling stuff. So once it's done, I can now again go and run. And it's complaining about something. Uh, exception in thread main. SQL feature not supported. Which feature is it talking about? Q and string. So it seems like I am doing um, a Q and string from here instead of just a, a regular string. So get string, get string. That's the one that I need. So I need to grab the string and let's just. And there we go we have now um, the result set showing all the IDs I could choose for another name here let's say T project running again and it will give me different results and like that you can just build your data structure as you need it to integrate it with the rest of your application let's say that you need to have a you name it a query a um, array or key pair key pairs values you can then implement your queries in the, in this class and choose the way to transform and return it into your application so i hope it was helpful and thanks for watching bye